what were the nerves like trying to you know put that outing together given the fact you had had that long layoff and this is your opportunity here with the red sox and in, in your first outing yeah i mean obviously it's a little bit different down in this in the in the camp the alternate camp so just you know having those meaningful baseball games uh playing against big leaguers you know something that i've always dreamed of and something that i never take granted so just to go out there compete with the new guys they've been super super great um i've almost met everybody it's a little little hard to meet everybody but um it's been it's been awesome nick did you see what you worked on at the second you know really come to fruition tonight specifically can you say it again did you see anything that you really specifically worked on in Pawtucket to come to fruition here tonight? Yeah, you know, I, just getting back as a starter, you know, building back up, you know, uh, getting better command with all four of my pitches because that's the pitcher that I am. Got to go out there. You can't go out there with two pitches. So being able to have a, a solid mix up of four pitches, uh, which I show, showcased tonight pretty well, um, you know, I think that's just what we've been working on and uh, it, it, it paid off tonight. Nick, it seemed like the, the slider was especially working uh, well for you for you tonight and maybe threw it a little bit more more often um, than you normally do and got, you know, I think it was seven swings and misses. Um, so how did I guess that pitch feel for you tonight? Is that, you know, something that uh, you were able to work on more in Pawtucket too? Yeah, obviously my, my curveball wasn't really there early. So I was getting, like you said, a lot of swings and misses on my slider. So you kind of just have to stick with that, you know, you throw a pitch that they, they're not really making really good contact on and go with what you have that day, I think is the biggest thing. It's what pitches are going to help you get the deepest into the baseball game, give the team the best chance to win. And Nick, looking back on it, how big was that strikeout of Severino to get you out of the first inning and give you a chance maybe to catch your breath a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I would I would have liked to uh, limit that damage a little bit more with some better fastball command, but uh, getting out of that and kind of then just moving into cruising after that, you know, get my legs underneath and get my confidence back, you know, kind of just relax and have and have some fun out there. You know, I think that's the biggest thing is once you get that first thing out of the way, kind of just move into it and then just go out there and compete. There were a bunch of different guys kind of coming back and forth since you since you came over in the trade. Um, how was it like for you just waiting to get your chance? You know, um, was it frustrating at all? Or, uh, You know, I'm just grateful every day to be able to uh, play for a professional team. So, you know, any there's a lot of guys out there that aren't getting the work in that we're getting in. So just being super grateful for that, um, allowing ourselves to, you know, um, really harness stuff and work on stuff in that kind of controlled environment. Um, you know, you got to take advantage of those things and, because you know that you're going to be in the big leagues eventually and you got to make sure that all your stuff is there. So there's no time just to lay off, kind of goof off or not take it seriously. That's serious work that you got to get done down there.